Hey guys, I'm Sagar and this is my unboxing of the second generation Moto 360. I've used the first generation Moto 360 with my iPhone 6 for 4 months before I got myself the Apple Watch in September. While the Apple Watch works much better with the iPhone, I still like the way the Moto 360 looked. It feels more like a traditional watch and looks a lot better in my opinion. Now that Motorola has launched its second generation Moto 360 with better looks and upgraded internals, I definitely wanted to give it a second try and wanted to compare it with the Apple Watch. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the new Moto 360. This new watch comes in a similar round box as the last year's Moto 360. But this time the top lid is transparent and you can see the beautiful watch even without opening the box. This box also feels more premium compared to the last year's box. We just have to take this tape off to open the lid. I went with the stainless steel version instead of the black one as I wanted it to look more like a traditional watch rather than a smart watch. And this is the 42mm model because in India, Motorola isn't selling the 46mm one. Also we don't have the option to customize the watch according to our liking as Moto Maker option is still not available for Indian customers. Leaving that aside, the watch itself looks amazing. We will take a look at the watch a bit later. First, let's check out what else do we get in the box. We have the micro USB to USB cable, a Motorola branded wall charger with two USB ports, so that's nice. And then we get the wireless charging stand, which looks similar to that of the first generation Moto 360. We also get a lot of user manuals and warranty information in various languages. Let's keep all of this aside and take a look at the watch. It's a smart watch, yet it looks so much like a traditional watch. The only button on the watch is now placed at 2 o'clock position instead of 3 o'clock as before. It takes less effort to press this button at the new angle. The stainless steel casing which has a brushed metal look to it combined with the shiny rim at the top gives the watch a much premium look and feel. The band is made from real leather which looks better and better as it ages. But I am not a big fan of leather bands. So, I'll be switching to a silicon band which is more suitable for my wearing conditions. We still have the wonderful round display with the flat tire at the bottom, which houses the display drivers and ambient light sensor as before. With a little bit of use and a dark watch face, you will learn to look past the little bezel at the bottom. The bands on the new Moto 360 are very easily replaceable, so you can try a bunch of different bands according to your liking. It's also IP67 water resistant which means you can soak it in a meter of water for half an hour and it will still be ticking. The heart rate monitor still sits at the back of the watch and the battery on this 42mm watch is reduced to 300mAh and the 46mm watch gets a 400mAh battery. Motorola promises the similar battery life as the previous generation Moto 360 which means anywhere between a day and a half to two days worth of usage. This Moto 360 is available for 19,999 rupees with the leather band and 23,999 rupees for the metal band. For the next month or so, I'll be using this watch with Android phones and an iPhone as well. After using it for a considerable amount of time, I'll have its full review up on this channel for you guys. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to my channel for more cool videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos on my channel. This is Sagar and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.